Hello YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. This is uh, an update video on my la latest uh, crawler and here it is. It is a Traxxas 2X4. Now you might be wondering uh, if I had one already and yes I have. So this is my second one and I bought this as a project uh, one. And I got it quite cheaply, hence why the main reason I bought it is because I actually got this for the quarter of the price I bought my first one for. Uh, simply because it needed a few repairs to it, and I got it as a spare repairs. When I originally went to go look at it, I thought it was a sport, but it turns out it wasn't. It had the two-speed gearbox and the front and rear lockable differential. So it's an upgraded one of the sport. It has just got the sport body shell on it, <coughs> and I'll get to that in a moment. Um, but the reason why it was out for spares or repairs, effectively, is that the person who I got it from said that the ESC wasn't working, and when he last used it, is that it went up in smoke. So after I bought it, I can really smell uh, the smoke smell come from the ESC. It, le it leaves a bit of a strange smell behind on the ESC. So yeah, that does confirm that what he said to be true. Lucky for me, I had a Hobbywing 1080, so I put that on it and it worked fine, perfectly fine. It moved forward, reverse, it steered. The two-speed gearbox unfortunately didn't work. Um, whether the the last time I knew, knew that or not, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. It just turns out to be that the mini servo had uh, packed up as well. So, lucky enough, a friend of mine had a spare one sitting around doing nothing. So he kindly donated donated that to me. So I fixed it, and I'm pleased to say uh, the two-speed gearbox works fantastic. Goes into high and low gear, perfectly fine now. It really was just that mini servo. The other things I have found since then, because I have stripped this down, cleaned it, and regreased it and rebuilt it again. And the things I've found, other than then, there's two items, is that the front drive shaft, the small little pin, um, what connects the actual gear to the shaft, had bent and snapped out. So it was only a three wheel drive, uh, 2X4. Um, so I have placed an order for a new one and it also needed two front bearings as well uh, so at the same time as me ordering a new drive shaft I had ordered two new bearings for the front portals as well so they came and they fitted and they fitted perfectly so now this is a fully running uh, two speed roof lockable front and rear differentials for the quarter of the price I bought for my Defender 2X4. Um, so that's the folks. So this is fully working. But since uh, fitting it Hobbywing 1080, I've since changed it, and I'll get to that in a moment. Starting with the body shell. No, in fact, no, it's LA. I start with the controller. It did come with a standard Traxxas uh, controller, what comes with this uh, crawler. But I had a spare receiver for my GT5, um, so I fitted it to this, so purely because I can adjust my endpoints a bit more better with this than I can with the standard uh, Traxxas controller. The controller still works, but I just prefer this one. As well as me adjusting the endpoints, this feels nice in my hand whilst out crawling. So that's the controller out of the way. Uh, the body shell has been changed to this uh, pickup truck. And I'm planning to keep it as this because I do like the colour of it and the look of it on here. Um, there's another feature of why I'm keeping it is because it has got the high trail uh, lift kit as well. Meaning it's got the higher shocks, it's got the longer links and it's got the new mount for the steering servo to bring it down because of the high lift on it. So that's another reason why I decided to keep this body shell because I want to keep the top end weight down low because of that high lift. So I'm very happy with the body shell and the high lift. What I've done to it since, apart from stripping it down, stripping it down, cleaning it, regreasing it and putting it all back together again, is I've changed, um, 
I've changed the hobby ring uh, 1080 and changed it to the hobby ring fusion that I had in my Defender. The reason why I've done that is because the Defender now is the sport version uh, where it's a single gear and knocks diffs. So I thought that this would be more beneficial in this now. So that is in there. And in my next video, I did a test run on it, which I've done before this one, so I already know what it drives like. Uh, but <coughs> excuse me. But unfortunately, shortly after that video ended, the steering servo, what came with it, was this one. It's a rig case, 25 kilogram uh, servo. But unfortunately, this stopped working, and it was judging, and it wouldn't move at all. So luckily, I had a Spectrum 18 kilogram uh, system wire drawers, did absolutely nothing, so I have replaced it, and it works fantastically. Well, um, one of the reasons why I think this has failed is because that this has been through water in this past. There is signs, I like, just here, don't know if you can see it, and on top of this screw, there is rust. And there's, when I was cleaning it, there was uh, small patches of rust from the screws. I've cleaned them up and they come out quite clean, so I just reused them. <laughs> so I think that's part, that's why I think that this packed up shortly after I got it. Um, the other thing is that the last owner replaced the motor as well, um, because apparently that's sort of working as well. But I think that's down to, like this, down to water ingress and too much of it, so I think that packed up. But he did re replace it with a new motor, but I've since changed that out for the Hobby Wing Fusion. Uh, the other thing I've done as well is that I've taken the wheels off my Defender, as you can see here, and fitted it to this. Um, it's simply because I wanted the weight down low, and I didn't have any other bead locks uh, to hand. So I took these ones off my Defender, I fitted them on here, and... I did have a spare Duratex uh, wheels as well, which are now fitted back onto the Defender, but they're not metal beatlock. They are just plastic, plastic wheels, and the tyres are glued on. Um, hence why I put these ones on here. Now, I'm sure I'm forgetting something on here, uh, but I'll probably end up saying that in the future videos anyway, of what I may have missed. Now is it. One of the things I have missed is that uh, there's signs that leads me to believe that this used to be the Bronco uh, body shell and not the Defender or that uh, sports uh, body shell that, you, that was on it. The reason I'm saying that is because there's little clips on each of the real arches in each corner. And I like, uh, I'm led to think that the Bronco body shell has those clips to have it just clipped on. So I think once upon a time that this used to be the Bronco uh, one, just purely because of those clips on the real arches, that le leads me to believe, along with this little tray. Um, my Defender did not have this uh, little tray at the front. This was just completely missing. Uh, but I know the Bronco and the Sport has this. So again, that's just a couple of reasons what leads me to believe that this used to be our Bronco. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, got a bit of a cough. Um, but yeah, now it's out of sync. I probably have forgotten something. Sure about that. I had to put you on pause briefly. Uh, had a bit of a coughing uh, fit. Um, but after I finished that, I come to realise uh, the couple of bits I have missed is that when I first got it, that the front bumper was actually missing along with the mount just underneath. That was missing as well. This is a bit unsure why that mount was missing, but as far as the bumper, that's probably missing to get a better angle approach from when he's out crawling. The rear bumper was also missing as well, but oddly, the bumper mount was still there. So, I'm not unsure where the front one was missing, but the, the back one was still there. Now, he also did come with the standard Traxxas wheels and tyres. Um, but like I mentioned already, is that due to it going through water, the, uh, the foams had got soaked 
uh, so badly that the spuds have become non-usable. Um, so I have to. Uh, so I decided to change it to these wheels because the standard foams in those tyres have gone bad. Um, another thing I've noticed so it hasn't got the standard uh, centre drive shafts either. They're having upgraded to mesh ones. Uh, don't know if you can see that one. It did come with a uh, back one as well. Uh, same drive shaft, but I found that the back one had quite a bit of play in it. Uh, so I decided to change the, uh, change it out to this one, whereby it's got no slack in in this one at all. So I've got two different uh, centre drive shafts, but they work perfectly now. This one hasn't got so much play in it as the back one did, hence why I left it as it was. But I may change them back to the plastic ones. Uh, just to give me a bit of a weak point, uh, so it doesn't break anything else. So that could be one of the things i change within the future, back to the standard one. Just to give me a bit of a weak point, because all the gears in this are metal. So I want to change those back to plastic, just to give me a weak point. So that is now all covered, and in my next video, uh, it will be the first test run on, on my cheap uh, 2x4. And please bear in mind, it is running the 25 kilogram uh, servo, as you can see here, and not the Spectrum servo, what's in it now. I just wanted to point that, because uh, like I said, I've already tested this. I made a video of it already, so I know how this actually performs. So I'll see you in that video. I'm going to take a few couple of pictures of today's video for my Instagram account, so please go check that out. And I'll see you in that uh, video. Bye for now.